Hello and welcome to Super Vapor 64. This is a game that I received uh, for free through, um, you know, kind of like straight, straight from the developer uh, or the team or whatever the case may be. And um, this is not on Steam, uh, at least from, um, you know, what I'm, I've, I got to download it directly from their um, webpage and everything. It's, you know, as exactly what you would expect it to be. I mean, well, I don't know if you would expect it to be uh, what you would expect it to be, but what it is, is a game about, uh, well, I'm a little snowman dude, and I'm, you know, doing cool snowman stuff like uh, skateboarding, which is something I would expect, like, um, I guess, from a snow person. And, um, yeah. Plays pretty nicely with the controller. Oh my gosh, we've, um, we died unfortunate it looks like we only have three lives so uh, probably behooves me to try to do an okay job here I don't know what, what, what's, what's happening here I'm like stuck I think the controls are like a little bit a little bit on the wonky side like it's a little bit difficult to kind of like do some of this stuff uh because it just seems like he doesn't know how to snowboard just like me in real life i have snowboarded before i'm never uh, probably never going to do it again I, I i once upon a time like when i was doing it, i was always just doing all the um well that's 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 totally unfair i was doing all the um bunny hills um the, the little easy portions that you can do you know, because I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't going to be good at it, so I was just like, it'll be fun times, but um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And uh, then I, I I kind of got sure of myself. I was like, oh man, you know what? I'm, I'm actually pretty good at this now. I can do this without falling. And I decided to get on the um, the ski lifts and, and actually, you know, do a legit try. And uh, I, I did the helicopter thing when you fall and you're just... Twisting around like crazy. Uh, long story short, I lost my goggles. Uh, I thought I was going to die because I was uh, essentially crashing um, in the air. That's what it felt like. Uh, it was a really cool experience, but I, I learned at that point that I, I'm just not very good at snowboarding, and um, it looks like uh, that carries over into my ability to play a game based on snowboarding as well. Which is kind of sad because I played a lot of like. SSX when I was a, a kid, you know, like SSX Tricky. Well, I shouldn't say kid. I think I was a bit on the older side. I'm like my twenties. But we'll try this again. I think I can actually you know, pull this off. I really like the, uh, you know, the art style. You know, we've got the kind of. Nintendo 64 style going on, I would say, as opposed to like PlayStation 1. Uh, maybe Dreamcast, which wouldn't be really accurate because the Dreamcast was just as good as the PlayStation. Not quite PlayStation 2 quality, I would say. But it was still really good, man. I loved the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast was uh, one of my favorite systems of all time. Lots of really short tracks. Um, based on like how quickly the game is going, um, I would imagine in somebody who is really good at their um, snowboarding skills could likely finish the game in under 30 minutes. Um, I don't know where I will be in that category. Probably not quite 30 minutes. I mean, I think I'm gonna be under 30 minutes, but I don't think I will be as fast as a lot of people um, likely could be. Although it doesn't seem like you really have a way of um, gaining a lot of speed outside of just managing not to hit anything. Uh, nothing else seems to really kind of increase my speed. It does feel like a little bit like the faster you go, the little bit more difficult it becomes to kind of move around and stuff. 
Um, that's kind of true. If you haven't been snowboarding, it, it is kind of like that. Trying to like regain control after you land is a little bit awkward. Kind of like a like a Boeing uh, Starliner trying to come back to Earth. Ah. Uh, you know, I said that now Boeing's gonna send people after me because uh, you know they don't like whistleblowers I don't work for Boeing so it's not really me being a whistleblower and I guess that's probably in bad taste but um, you know I mean it's just like one of those things where uh, you know what never mind it doesn't matter uh, the whole point is uh, I made a terrible joke uh, see because the Boeing Starliner basically failed pretty miserably so they sent it back to earth without the astronauts uh and you know nasa was right to do so because apparently it um it even struggled on its landing without anybody and uh safety is first you would say uh but then there's also the whole issue with the boeing 737 uh, aircraft uh, the, the big issues are 747 787 797 i don't i don't know it's a, it's a seven something um that had issues and then there were the whistleblowers that um came forward and then there were two of them and then um both of them died under mysterious circumstances um and uh big corporations in america are you know they they have a foundation of doing um bad things against whistleblowers and union representatives and stuff like that so it's hard to say but uh there is a possibility there was some foul play but we may never know I wish I could do tricks, uh, but, but it doesn't seem like you can do any tricks. Um, outside of like kind of landing on um, like one of these poles and just kind of sort of being on it, it doesn't really seem like I can do uh, much of anything. This almost reminds me of, not reminds me, but it almost makes me kind of think of this as a, like a 3D ski free almost, where like the goal was pretty much speed. And, uh, which was fine, but, you know, of course, we're missing the Yeti here to run after us and try to, um, sell us Girl Scout cookies, but that's okay. It's actually a really nice and chill vibe. It's, a uh, uh, dang. I should just stay away from these ramps, I guess. It's a really nice way to like, kind of like, play, it's just a really nice game to play on a Thursday afternoon. I mean, cause it is for me Thursday afternoon. I have a big old slate of games that uh, are awaiting me to play them. Uh, I need to like, you know, pour some more effort to kind of get caught up i've just been really busy like this has been my inbox for a couple of days uh, and i meant to play it um earlier but i just i just haven't had time and then today just kind of luck of the draw it became the game that i was going to play and here we are doing our stuff magic snowman doing his stuff too bad he can't do the jumps uh, of anything cool like i said I think probably the best way to describe this is a game that just it's just pretty chill but you're trying to get you know like a high score um for yourself and that's always pretty cool i don't know what just happened there seems like uh things just kind of went haywire hit an invisible wall uh don't 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 go over there there we go I really like how the um, snowballs actually grow in size. That's pretty cool. I don't know how they did it, but it's cool. It's it's easily the coolest thing. I mean, I wish they would get bigger. Like, I mean, they, they get pretty decent size. Um, and I wish they interacted with the character a little bit more because they don't really do anything. They don't, they don't seem to have any real weight attached to them. So it's not like I'm slowing down or anything. It's just kind of, I guess they kind of just get in the way. It looks really cool, don't get me wrong. Like, I really like the, the appearance. I just wish it had like a little bit more substance. It's 
like a little bit of a little bit of wonky like uh platforming almost uh i guess you could call it where stuff happens and it's just it's it's kind of weird like it just seems like um our character is almost um switching his or her there i don't know he's it's a snow person i, I don't know I have no idea the proper term here, but uh, it, it seems like every once in a while the snow person uh, just kind of can't decide what it wants to do, and we just have this sort of ridiculous um, movement of sorts where it just. I don't know, they just kind of twist and they start turning in places where you wouldn't think they would. Um, it's just kind of, kind of weird. in I'm still not halfway so yeah so 30 minutes probably is gonna be about right uh, for me maybe not but oh we got downhill like some extra speed that's pretty cool it definitely is a game that um, I would say that you sit down to play and finish in one sitting which I think is cool. Um, I, I do like games like that. I like it to uh, something you can sit down, you have one experience, and then it's kind of over. It reminds me a little bit of like the old school nature of games back in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, where you would get home after school, or you'd get home after work, and you would load up a game that you could play before you waited to go make dinner or go eat somewhere. And it just worked really, really well. And, um, and I think the game is pulling that off uh, really well. And actually, it looks like those balls do get bigger. Snowballs. It seems weird uh, to say out loud, but... Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why we... Um... I don't know why I got stuck on that. Like, it just seemed kind of unfair. Uh, like, I hit the wall and I couldn't, like, get off the wall. I couldn't do anything. I was just kind of stuck. That's unfortunate. Because uh, the only downside I would say that I, that I have here is the game does require you to, it would appear anyway, uh, from what I've seen so far, the game requires you to actually complete it in one sitting otherwise. Uh, you know, you're starting over, which isn't so bad when you, you know, mess up really early, like before level 10, maybe. But at the point now where I'm like, I'm at level 29, if I was to fail here, then it's just kind of, uh, you know, that means I'm, I'm going to have to go back and start all over. That's, you know, easily 10 minutes of gameplay uh, that I have to redo. Um, without the ability to gain extra lives i'm you know kind of missing like the incentive that would allow me to take more risks and try to do more things so you know i just find myself purposely trying to skip things that would normally build my score and i know it's like a risk versus a reward kind of system and that's kind of how games like this work i mean it's all about you want to get the high score you got to take those risks and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that is a um, perfectly fine uh, method of gameplay. I think it's perfectly suitable to the game and um, matches what I would expect for it. But uh, as somebody who just wants to, you know, or as somebody who is more of a casual gamer at times, uh, it does make it for a little bit harder of a sell because knowing that there's a possibility that all of my effort uh, can be disregarded and I have to do it all over again. So unfortunately, it means I'm going to probably not take as many of these jumps as I could. I know they don't really do a whole lot, so it's not really that necessary um, outside of when we see that there's rings to jump into or 
whatever these bottles are. They look like hydrogen peroxide. I don't think that's what they're supposed to be, but I think that's what they are. Um, because they look like it. They look like hydrogen peroxide. In fact, I can't see it as anything else, to be honest with you. The good thing is I've made it halfway, so if I do die, I feel like I've shown enough of the game to, to give you a good understanding of what to expect. Because honestly, if you, you know, play this and you... If you're not having a good time by level 32, you probably won't have a good time um, at all. Um, but I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it. I am definitely going to try to make it to the end. So I know that I'm not going to get a top score of any sort, but that's okay. Yeah, it's those sudden turns that that he does, or that it does, that um, it kind of throw me off a little bit because I'm not really sure why it's happening. I'm not sure if I'm landing awkwardly or exactly what the case may be. Um, You're not going to trick me with those jumps. If the jump doesn't, like, lead me straight into another, like, into a straight area, I'm not doing it. I just, I just don't want to take that risk. I'm not sure if we're getting, like, more points um, for having all of these bottles at the end. Or when we go through stuff. So I... It's really kind of hard to, like, make a determination on, like, exactly what I should be doing here, aside from obviously trying to make it to the end. Yeah, because it doesn't... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try to do some math in my... in my head by, um... I guess skipping all the bottles I can. Dang. Alright, well, never mind. Guess we'll just, uh, keep going for all of those. Let this ball go by. It obviously has somewhere very important to go. Ooh, Wave Race 64. Yeah, that's a game that this reminds me of just a little bit. I mean, I guess aesthetically, um, you know, like graphics. I don't know, because it does definitely have that Nintendo 64 vibe to it. I wouldn't say the gameplay is anything at all like Wave Race 64. Um, yeah, definitely not, but... There's definitely some snowboarding games from the Nintendo 64 era, era that I don't remember because I never played any of them. Uh, I think there was a title that was just simply called snowboarding something or something like that because, uh, you know, in the, in the 2000s, in the late 90s, games didn't always have like, I don't know, really inventive names. They just kind of uh, picked up a magazine and started looking through and found some words and were like, yeah, let's just name it this. I was alive back then. Well, that is going to be the most impressive thing I've done so far. I went from a jump onto a rail. Very cool. Yeah, despite, like, the obvious difficulties, difficulties I've had trying to, um, um, you know, snowboard effectively, I think this is a pretty chill experience. Like, I mean, it's, it's definitely been, um, positive, uh, vibes all around so far. It's just, you know, it's really chill. It's, uh, there's not really a lot going on. I mean, there's all these balls going around. So, I mean, like, for you ball fans out there, I'm sure you're gonna love this, uh, you know, you can be baseball, soccer, snowballs, whatever. 
all kinds of balls. There, there are so many balls here. It's just kind of insane. My girlfriend's looking at me like, "What are you talking about?" And then you know, talking about balls. Uh, so, because that's what they are. I mean, there's like the gigantic snowballs. I think there's actually a better term for it, but I don't remember what you would call them. Like, what would you call a snowball? I mean, it's massive in size. A big snowball? Like, I mean, I, I feel like there is actually a proper term, but I can't remember. It reminds me of the film Willow, which was amazing. Don't bother with the TV series that was on Disney Plus because it was hot garbage. Disney likes to absolutely take a whopping dump on everything that we loved uh, people in my era. Uh, I, I can only imagine what happened is somebody at Disney was bullied by kids in the 90s and you know that really like Star Wars and Willow and John Carter and, and and different things like that and they were like I'm gonna ruin this in the future for you like I'm going to ruin it so that everyone hates it uh, or it can never exist again and um, I, I can't say they've succeeded but they are certainly still trying um, it's kind of disappointing but That's, that's, that's really a non-issue, I suppose. It's just, it's nothing to do with this. It just made me think of um, the snow, big snow avalanche snowball scene in Willow when Mad Mardigan is uh, coming down the mountain. The next thing you know, the snow is, he gets uh, it wrapped up in like a snowball and stuff like that. And it just, it just gets it's crazy and he slides down and somehow survives. Uh, it's a very cool scene, but it's silly. Uh, I really enjoyed Willow be honest it was, it was probably one of my favorite fantasy movies of all time the 90s were awesome uh, for that purpose I mean there was also the cool part in the 90s where like uh, at least in America like a, uh, a family could survive on one, one person working uh, you know not necessarily in the best possible way but you know, you can support like a family of four. Uh, not anymore. Thanks, inflation. But uh, that's where we are. All right, as we approach, like, potentially the um, the end of the experience here, um, I think I'm going to get somewhat close to, to, to hitting my final thoughts. Um, like, overall, like I said, I really like this. It's, it's a very chill experience. There's... It's just got nice vibes to it. Um, it's definitely the kind of game that you play just to kind of like unwind and, and relax. There's nothing too imposing about it. There's nothing crazily difficult about it. Um, there's the occasional issue where you, you know, seem to get stuck on this sidewall, which um, kind of puts you in a bad spot. And then the next thing you know, you're stuck and you try to jump over it. And then you are dead and you have to start over uh, that is certainly a negative some of that is problem skill related but i do think that um i don't know there's just like a couple little things that just feel like they um are a little bit on the wonky side a little janky um with that like i, I feel like some of that shouldn't happen and um well not like a terrible game breaking deal it definitely can be frustrated if or frustrating if it's you know, if, if you're playing and you get pretty close uh, to the end, or even not even not even close, just just playing in general, the next thing you know, you're stuck on a wall and you try to jump out of it, and then you have to start over. So uh, that would probably be the only major complaint I have about the experience. Uh, the other thing that is not really much of a complaint is just more of a a thing that I kind of wish was the case. I definitely wish we had more variety. The levels are, I mean, they're entertaining enough. They're fine. Like they're, you know, they're all, but they're all kind of the same. Not a lot is changing. We've got more snowballs. We've got occasionally more ramps, but overall there's not a huge amount of variety in, in what we're doing. And I think that is something that probably could have been done a little bit differently i would have liked to see like more um uh more rails for us to kind of go under or go on 
I feel like if we had a bunch of rails uh, to, to ride, that would have been really cool. You know, especially if the rails actually did something a bit more than they do. And they might do something that I'm just missing and, I just, and I'm just not putting it together properly, but... Um, like, I was hoping they would maybe, you know, make us go faster, um, or that we'd do some kind of cool tricks on them, but every time I hit one, I just, I guess I hit it wrong, and it just slows me down and becomes uh, more of a, more of just like an obstacle, as opposed to an actual thing that I, that I want to do. And also, I'm just like, it is really difficult for me to want to really try to do a lot of the things uh, that I could maybe do because I'm afraid that I'm going to over jump something or you know get turned around somehow and then um, I won't make it to the end uh, and given the length of the video thus far I don't intend on restarting because there's just not enough variety in what I'm showing to make that make sense so, we just kind of got to deal with what we got with the cards at hand. I don't even know if that is would have been like a cool jump, and it probably would have been just fine. Too bad we don't have little snow people uh, next to us. That would have been cool. See some other ones uh, trying to do like some stuff. I definitely wish there was like some trick points that we could get to, like there, you know, something to encourage the jumps and uh, the twists and stuff. Um, because the animation's there, and it is, it's quite good uh, for the spins at least. There's just very, very little incentive to do anything more than, uh, you know, just kind of push forward and try to hit all the rings. stuck oh man i would i would have been very very upset if i um somehow screwed this up this close to the end it's a possibility though i mean like it, it might happen so another thing that like i feel would have been essentially the perfect I don't know I don't want to say well I mean like I, I, I feel as though what would have been an amazing gameplay element to this is just almost like an endless track and it might happen I don't know I mean like I'm gonna try to hit um, we'll see what happens after I hit you know um, level 64 if I do but it would have been cool if we just had like kind of an endless level where we just kind of kept trying to go as long as possible and maybe maybe throw in some kind of dangerous things that would um potentially you know cause the end of everything um i don't know like a yeti i still feel like the yeti would have been the perfect inclusion here Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, well, that's why I was gonna try to stay away from the jumps, as you can see. Well, that's Super Vapor 64. Like I said, I'm not gonna, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again because obviously, um, you kind of get the gist of it. Um, but final thoughts are: it's a really cool, chill experience. The game itself is not super expensive. Let me let me look really quick. Um, And I will link to the actual store page. Um, yeah, it's three dollars, so it's it's a pretty it's a very cheap game, and you can kind of see what you get out of it. And I would say you get some pretty decent time out of it. Um, you definitely get your three dollars worth. So, um, once again, that's that's it. That's um, it's Super Vapor sixty four, a game about being a snowman that um, you know does uh, snowboarding.